What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Monique Nicole and I am back with another video. I miss you guys. Um, I am a little late with this video, but you know what? Better late than never. If you are new to my channel, please, please make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Please subscribe. Um, press the thumbs up button for this video. Please like, show your girl some love, all right? So today, today honey i know i'm two weeks late well almost two weeks late i'm almost two weeks late but i'm sure as the whole world knows now um joe biden is our 46th president of the united states of america let's just all give a freaking clap we got rid we got rid of orange face we got rid of trump yes yes we did that america showed up okay well half of america well let me give credit america showed up okay because i, I really do think that 2016 elections really shook a lot of people up a lot of people were like holy shit like what did we do i personally know a lot of people that did not vote in 2016 and they lived to regret it so i do think a lot of people were like okay we ain't playing this year okay we've had four four long years of trump um it is it has just been a, a it's been a long four years i mean i still <laughs> i still have ptsd from the 2016 election like i can remember that night i remember how i felt I remember when I woke up the next day, I really should have called out of work. Honestly, I remember just, it was, it was a lot. It was just a lot, especially living here in the South, living in Atlanta, Georgia. Although Metro Atlanta is very diverse and you know, you, black people are thriving, etc. There are still a lot of racism stuff that we deal with. There's a lot of areas that are still predominantly Republican that doesn't mean that you're racist if you're Republican because I know somebody will take what I just said very literal but you know what I'm saying you know Georgia has always been a very red state um so listen I still have PTSD okay so this year I'm gonna tell y'all right now literally two weeks before election day I was freaking like my anxiety was terrible it was through the roof like it was just too much going on between all the phone calls and all the text messages about voting and this. It was just, it was pretty excessive. I will say compared to previous years, 2020, the election run, um, sorry, all something's in my eye. It was really excessive. Like I understand these people have a job to do. I get it. I'm all about voting, but baby, they was hitting my line like OD, OD. And then they were, listen, the text messages had everybody's name in my family. What do I mean by that? My dad's name is James. So I'm getting a text message saying, hi, James, this is so-and-so from the Democratic Party. This is everybody, the whole list of my family members, I was getting texts with, hi, Marva, hi, James, hi, whoever. I was just like, what the f they were doing their job. Nonetheless, people showed up and they showed out. Shout out to the black and Hispanic community. We showed, especially the black, no shade. I'm not trying to say better or whatever. I know a lot of Hispanic women definitely helped and contributed to this election. Shout out to you guys. I have love for y'all. Black women show the fuck out too. They showed up. We showed up and showed out in, you know, obviously urban cities such as Atlanta, Philadelphia, a couple other places in the country, but we really showed up and showed out. Shout out to the people who early voted. Shout out to the people who did mail in ballot, honey. The, truth be told, honey, the mail in ballot people is what won this damn election, honey. Okay? We. <laughs> The mail-in ballot people, honey, we helped win this shit, okay? Because our votes, baby, they was counting them. Listen, listen, 
and it, as we talk about vote so well i didn't even say this election day was tuesday y'all okay november 3rd we didn't find out until saturday so like i was saying my anxiety my anxiety was terrible two weeks prior I kind of already knew that we were not going to find out on Tuesday. Like I heard people saying that people were kind of already were doing early predictions and being like, look, we are not going to find out Tuesday night. Okay. I was like, we're going to find out at least the end of Wednesday. That didn't happen. I was like, cause I'm telling y'all all Tuesday, I think from, because my anxiety was so bad, I told myself that I would only turn on the news. I would check just midday just to see what the conversations were looking like, but I would not plug into the polling stuff and the new stuff until I gave myself what? I said 7.30. 7.30 at night was when I was like, okay, I'm gonna plug in the rest of the night and watching the news and stuff. I went to bed probably like 11. 11 30 i was like it's time to go to bed i ain't gonna find out tonight i was hoping we would find out wednesday it didn't happen as y'all know the days kept going by and i was just getting nervous and nervous you know um and then i think it was starting to look it was starting to look good right it was starting to look good for biden and i remember i got a little excited i posted some funny memes on the gram but then i was like okay let me humble myself because this shit is not over we all know this shit can go south real quick. So I was like, okay, let me humble myself. And then Saturday, I remember I woke up and I watched the news. I watched CNN for maybe 10 minutes. Um, and then I just went about my day kind of doing laundry or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I'm at my parents' house, okay? All of a sudden, I hear my mom yelling, yelling like, yes, Jesus! I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I run downstairs and she's like, yes, Joe Biden, run, Joe Biden. I was like, wait, what? I was like, they announced it? Like, oh my gosh. I was in shock, y'all. This was like 11 o'clock on Saturday, November 7th. And I was shook. I was like, the honestly, the first two hours, I was in shock. For It took two hours for me, my mind, my body to really like let it resonate like, okay, Trump lost, Joe Biden won. Like it took two hours. I was so in shock. I was just like, oh wow, okay. Like I was, I was just in disbelief, you guys, but it was amazing. I was so happy, so, so happy. So y'all, excuse me, y'all don't know how happy, I'm sure some of y'all do know. I am so, freaking happy and it's just like one thing i need people to understand which i know a lot of people are not going to understand people who are trump supporters do not understand it's not it's not just republican versus democratic this is not a normal election like how it used to be like in the past this is just like to me this is just right versus wrong this is good versus evil this is like I just, it's about morals. It's about values. It's about principle. It's about a better tomorrow. I am not naive. I am an extremely realistic person. Um, are things going to change overnight? Hell no. Did things change overnight with Obama? No. He had to put, he had to put work in y'all. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm not naive to it. I don't think anything's gonna magically you know change overnight but for me and a lot of people in this country this means hope for a better tomorrow hope for a better tomorrow not perfection not perfection a better tomorrow and that is also what made a lot of people believe and vote into obama was his his speeches about hope and just you know positivity and coming together and being unified like those speeches that is what really attracted people to obama and our country really needed that like we really really did and we need it even more now like who would have thought 
who would have thought we would have went backwards you know what i mean we really as a country we, we took we took 10 steps back and i'm just ready for things to kind of as we all know america was never great it's never it's never been great but with obama we saw the progress that we could make was it perfect hell no again even under obama's term we still had a lot of issues um i mean we had police brutality i mean trayvon martin all that stuff happened under obama's term you know i mean our country was already kind of <laughs> making that wrong turn anyway but you know trump just kind of lit the fire so again this for me means a better tomorrow not perfect just a better tomorrow so i don't want to hear no negativity you know obviously some people have already said their negative comments since it's been almost two weeks now but i don't want to hear no more bullshit comments i don't want to hear nothing about joe biden and i don't want to hear anything negative about joe biden and kamala harris we need to be celebrating them and don't get me wrong i'm not saying celebrate them forever because i'm all about holding people accountable so yes we need to hold them accountable but we need to celebrate them and I'm counting down the days. What is it, like 60-something days now until um, Trump is out of the office? Speaking of Trump, because at this point, you guys, I'm convinced he, they're going to have to drag him out of that damn White House because he is not going to leave peacefully. Like I, I just feel like he's going to try to raise hell before he leaves. He's just such a spiteful, immature person. So, of course, immediately, you know, before the results even were finished this man was trying to get people to stop counting stop counting the votes i mean what kind of stupid shit is that what kind of this is stupid he wanted people to stop counting the votes in certain states uh certain cities of course cities where um the numbers were were pretty narrow and really close i mean him and biden were pretty um excuse me pretty uh, neck and neck i mean what were some of the states? I'm trying to think. Obviously, Atlanta. We know now that Atlanta did turn blue. I mean, very narrow now. It was a, it was pretty narrow. But Georgia turned blue, which is amazing. The first time that's ever happened since, what, 94? Um, with Bill Clinton, 94, I think. 93? One of those. 92? One of those damn years. Early 90s, okay? So we're talking over 20 years ago. Um, or 20. Yeah, I can't even do math, clearly. Over 20 years ago. Um what other states were narrow obviously pennsylvania um trump wanted to stop the counts there he he then <laughs> before not only did he want to stop the counts you guys he then once the numbers came in this man basically demanded a recount so he demanded a recount for georgia pennsylvania i think once uh wisconsin is on the list as well of places where he's attempting to demand basically for a recount i don't think a recount has occurred yet in wisconsin but i know i believe in pennsylvania it's already happened and in georgia it just happened and i think they got the results yesterday there was no signs of fraud i believe um i think every count every vote was counted for there was no signs of fraud so screw you trump and all his stupid stupid supporters i mean i just and i usually don't talk <laughs> I usually don't talk this way about um, presidents and I, I just don't, um, you know, although I was younger, even with George Bush, yes, there were times where we'd be like, oh, he's freaking stupid or, oh, but I just still feel like there's just a difference, you know, I just, I usually wouldn't judge someone so harshly, but I just feel like when you're, when you are a Trump supporter, I just... I just can't really see past it. I just, uh, uh. but anyway, child, he done demanded a recount. He got it in a few states, um, but you know, look, he lost. He lost fair and square, and I need him and his supporters to understand that and let the shit go. Just let it go. Just bow out gracefully. But you know what? We are not dealing with a mature, sane person. We're dealing with an immature psychopath. So, I mean, what can you expect? And I think the other day, um, 
there was a I don't I think I'm gonna say it wrong um MAGA million march something they they stole from the million man march um in Washington bastards they could have at least been more original came up with their own name but there was some stupid ass march protest whatever with a whole bunch of ignorant probably racist ass Trump supporters and I just thought it was ignorant stupid like America is just going straight to hell at this point like really really y'all might as well be the fucking KKK at this point but enough of him you know again what can we expect I don't expect things to happen overnight at least I know there are sane people that are about to enter the White House Joe Biden and Kamala Harris she is the first female VP we've ever had she is black she is Jamaican and she is well I say Indian but I don't want to be ignorant I believe she's South Asian so you know it's pretty it's pretty amazing to see that I did not think we would see that um anytime soon uh shout out to Joe Biden he made an excellent pick um, you know, and choosing her to be the VP. I think they are going to do some awesome things. I really do. I really do think they are going to do good and try to turn this thing around and just make America better. You know what I mean? Um, all politicians are shady and grimy in their own way. Obama's not perfect. And if you think he's perfect, come on. All politicians have a thing. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? At this point, you know? So, again, what can we expect? A better tomorrow. I, 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 I look forward not only to the different policies and changes that may be coming, but I look forward to having some integrity in the White House, some decency. I, I look forward to no longer having to worry about, oh, what did Trump say today? Oh, this, either they're still gonna probably cover it. Um, he's still gonna tweet no matter what, but it's still like at least the damn president of the United States of America is not gonna be tweeting ignorant ass shit now he's just gonna go back to being um trump a fucking reality tv star i guess it's trump like i look forward to that but you know what guys our work is not done georgia our work is not done get up get out and vote january 5th for the um the georgia runoff for senate this is very important <laughs> for the senate i think they only need one more republican seat um listen we look we need some dominance somewhere okay we all know the president's great but the power <laughs> the power lies somewhere else okay so we georgia runoff January 5th, people go ahead and request your ballots now. If you do not plan on waiting in lines to vote for the Georgia runoff, please go ahead and request your ballots now. This is important. Look what we have done, you guys. Georgia flipped blue the first time since 93. This is our time. This is our time. Let's take this shit back. You know what I mean? Again, not perfection. It's America's never going to be perfect, but a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow. All right. That's all I got for y'all. Ain't got no more. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all on the next video. All right. Peace.